Hey, great seeing you again. Thank you. I appreciate being here. Right, good luck with the book. We'll uh, be back right after these words. We're going to do the news. Gilbert's going to come in. All right. He's a big wise-ass Gilbert. <laughs> he always yeah. plays a bird. Yeah. Imagine Gilbert sitting next to Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, what a sight that would be. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we should do that. What are you doing down there? <laughs> you super little Jew. <laughs> uh, let me introduce my friend, Fool Nelson. <laughs> we'll be back right after these words. Gilbert Gottfried is, uh, what is he? A comedian. Oh, okay. A great comedian. A great comedian. A comedian's comedian. Yes. Yes, a comic. He's the comic's comic. <laughs> Actually, he's a mess. <laughs> like most great comedians. Right. Gilbert Godfrey is one of the most complicated men I've ever met. Complete enigma. <laughs> a mystery, if you will. I haven't seen him in a long time. Do you time. think that Gilbert is a happy man? Is Gilbert happy? Absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> He's got two bottles of free water, though. He's happy right there now. There he goes. I have water. He Let's got see. paid for this gig. He's got two bottles of water. He walks in carrying waters. <laughs> I'm like Gunga Din. <laughs> yeah. Anything we have that's the only thing we have here that's free is water. And yeah. Gilbert says, "Let me have two of those." Yeah. Do you yes. have any used envelopes here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can use them for scrap paper. You put on a little weight. Yeah. Well, I've been working out. It's old muscle. It is. Yeah. It's bulk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you ever set foot in a gym? No. No. I'm Savage Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> Yeah. Have you ever tried to, uh, <laughs> savage? <laughs> have you ever, let, when, you, when you were a kid, I don't even know where you grew up. Yeah. Where did you grow up? In like, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Did, yeah. did they make you go to gym class? Oh, yeah, that yeah. was pretty horrible. Were, were, were you, I see you're a very small man. I imagine as a child you were, <laughs> you were not physically impressive. Did you, were the kids I, picking on you at gym? You think as a child I wasn't the most popular kid? <laughs> <laughs> I get that feeling, I don't know why. <laughs> I think you're about to blossom, though. Yeah, you have yes. a lot of friends, yeah. right? Yes. You're going oh, to yeah. hit, your, hit your stride. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, you must have been like, I was reading out in Belmore, they violated kids with pine cones. That must have happened to you. <laughs> oh, what? They, I'm, I can only imagine. This well, is pine cones in the... Uh... In the rectum. Yes. Oh, yeah. you're a, like you don't know. <laughs> Where else would I violate you? I, I thought they updated it. No, they use pine cones yeah. and golf balls and, and sticks. And a stick. Yeah. Where, where, stick. where was this? Mepham High School in Belmore <laughs> for, uh, for the football hazing. Well, they're working it up to bowling balls. Yeah. You had a bowling ball. Yes. Didn't you? That's what I read. Yeah. Come here, Godfrey. I want a pine cone bang you. I want a bowling ball. So you've accepted a bowling ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. See, you got to start out with the pine cone. Have you ever tried therapy, psychotherapy, to get to the root of the pain? <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, you're a guy in pain, right? Yeah. I mean, really. If I did, it never worked, obviously. Do you ever have emotion, or uh, do you feel things, or, or do you, have you completely repressed any kind of emotion? Oh, yes. I cried yeah. during poetry readings. I mean, how yeah. did you learn to deal with indifferent parents, parents who didn't <laughs> like you? And I know your sister doesn't like you. Yes. But uh, I know the kids at school didn't like you. Strangers on the street don't like me. How did you deal with it growing up? I mean, seriously, how did you deal with the pain of not being accepted? <laughs> you laugh? <laughs> Laughter. You laugh, funny man? Yes. Oh, yes. that's right. Yes. <laughs> now, was it difficult in your childhood? Uh, oh, of course. Yes, of course. I, I, I don't understand people who go, boy, I wish I was a kid again. Those were great. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing good about it. When is the last time you cried? <laughs> I mean, aside from right now. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, but I'm do crying cry on the inside every now. Day? Yes. yes. No, I mean you're laughing about, it, but I imagine you're yes. quite sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Pagliacci. Yeah. When you look in the mirror, do you ever look at yourself and say, "Oh, I look good today"? Uh, no. Never. No. Never well, happens. You never have a day like that. <laughs> I don't have like a good day. You don't. And I go, "Wow, I look really hot." Have you ever had a day you were happy? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. did. Once. No, no, it'll last for like five minutes, and I go, right. "What am I happy about?" Right. Yeah. So it's it's pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. We're done. Yes. <laughs> That's about as now, much as we're going to learn. When does that. Dr. Phil come out? No, I'm just saying yeah. I have no idea what it's like to be you. I know this, I know it's got to be difficult. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I've never seen anybody more miserable. Yes, I, <laughs> I mean, really, I thought I was bad. But... Um,
He but makes you feel happy. <laughs> I know your reputation is a guy who's very frugal. In other yes. words, a guy who doesn't like to spend money. You mean cheap? Cheap, too. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but in but, real life, I just toss the money around. Yeah. No, but I mean, I know, like, I know you, I know your girlfriend, I know you, yeah. and I know you won't even take her to a nice dinner, and I know that, like, I suggested to Gilbert they go to a nice dinner, he looked at me like I was crazy. Why don't you invite Gilbert and his girlfriend out? I would love to know that. Please, the awkward silence kills me. Story. Come no, on. no, I don't want to, I don't want to be there. Sacrifice yourself yeah, any, for us. Anytime I've, I've run into you outside of here, it's just been miserable. Awkward. Yeah. 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 Two miserable guys. Like, like two seconds go by, and it feels like an hour. Well, I don't, I don't yeah. get the feeling you really uh, like me. <laughs> I saw you guys interacting at your New Year's party. Huh? Oh, that, yeah, that was, was great. That was yeah. fun. Yeah, last time I invited Gilbert in. Well, your eyes start darting around trying to see where's an escape. <laughs> <laughs> you actually noticed that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think we both felt that way. Yeah. What is like, it, John? I, I was traveling with Gilbert, right? And we got breakfast in the plane. They get like a little, a s tiny bottle of mm -hmm. maple syrup for pancakes. Yes. So Gilbert uses half the bottle. And then I look at him, like, take the other half and, 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 and um, you know, put the cap back on and put it in his pocket. <laughs> so I go, Gilbert, are you bringing that home? He goes, ah, oh, you caught me. <laughs> Gilbert, let me ask you something. Yes. You, I know you make a good living. Yes. You could buy a bottle of maple syrup when you get home. I mean, you, why the? Why take a bottle of maple syrup? Seriously, do you ever ask yourself? Like, you could buy twenty bottles right now, and you wouldn't even know the difference in you your bank account. It was that special airline maple syrup. It was the size of a shot glass. Yeah, right. a tiny little bit. I mean, well, you, 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 you couldn't put on a half a pen. And I'm still using it. Why, why do you do it? Seriously, have you I have to escaped? use it sparingly. He has yep. not escaped that childhood. Maybe they were poor yeah. when he. Were was you a poor up. kid? Growing up in Brooklyn? Yes, we lived in a shack. <laughs> are you, are you a uh, depression era child? Are you oh, really oh, yeah. 70 or 80 years old? I mean, really, what have you been? Do, 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 your mother must have gone through the depression. Is that it? I guess so. She gave birth, yeah. to, you, birth to you and then got depressed? Yes. <laughs> Gilbert's got a disease. He really, yeah. I mean, it's a yeah. disease because we, yeah. we all went out to dinner on that same trip, and it's me and Artie and John, and we're all sitting at the table, and we're ordering, and Gilbert goes, nah, I'm not hungry. And I'm going, everyone's eating. What's going on? And I know there's food at the gig. Yeah. He turns to me and goes, there's going to be food at the gig, right? <laughs> I, go, I go, Gilbert, are you not ordering because you don't want to pay? And he just goes, <laughs> 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 And I gotta ask. It's crazy. Him, I gotta ask him one question. Mm. He has to be driven because he got there early. He has to be driven to <laughs> Disney World uh, uh, alone. So, so this woman dropped him off at Disneyland alone, and he spent the whole day at Disneyland. So I'm asking him, <laughs> Gilbert, you know, what'd you do at Disneyland? He won't tell me. He won't say if he went on any rides. Uh -oh. Did you go on the rides, Gilbert? No, I just walked around. You just walked went, around. Went in one of two things. You didn't want to yeah. pay for the rides? Uh, no, no, you're already in there. Oh, so oh, you, so you can get all the free yeah. rides. But hold on a second. Did you pay to get in? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get them to I, pay? I, I have to get one thing out of being in Disney. Someone told me, and I don't believe yeah. this for a minute, that you went there and molested twenty. 12 year olds. Yeah, yes. That, See, that, that's that what I'm worried true. about. Why would a guy want to go to Disneyland but, alone? And I need to be alone. She, she was the whole day and a half and she was asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how, you know, he was there for 10 hours. What Smith? do you do? Uh, you walked around. I assume yeah, you yeah. took some rides. Yeah. yeah. You're you assuming go? a lot. No, I mean, I can't imagine you walked around and, and did nothing. Yeah, I went in one or two of those things. I don't know what it, it doesn't was. bother you to be alone at an amusement park. <laughs> 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 it was either that or the hotel room. Do you wait yeah. a minute? Because you know most of the rides are two seaters. So when you get on the ride, do they put somebody else in there with you, or are you alone? <laughs> <laughs> did you go to the Dumbo teacups. As an actor, oh, yeah, I should have. As an actor, I'm sure you're very aware of the camera. Do you do you have a good side, or does that not exist for you? No, it doesn't no, exist. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's very disturbing that he goes to a Disneyland alone. I'm really? Sorry. Why is yes. that? Because there's nothing but little kids there with their parents. Well, well and like, maybe once you go, maybe once you go on the rides. There are not any great rides at Disney. See, see his there thing. aren't. No. I went there. I went on rides. You were at I... Disney World, number one. Disneyland oh. is a kiddie park. Like, oh. like John, John was amazed that I went to Disneyland. You know, like, the, like the, 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 the teacup ride, like he says. What do you get on? And I think, Did you go on the teacup ride? Uh, no. No. <laughs> I went to some of those 3D things. and. Uh, do you think like maybe... Like the Michael Jackson one? I didn't see the Michael Jackson one. <laughs> no. Do you think that maybe... 
Oh, what would he think? He's a pedophile? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, I mean to it, believe it's, this. It's one of the Did you things. want a childhood? Is that what yeah. you're saying? You didn't oh, get enough? Oh, yes, yes. I closed the park down for me. You wanted to fill the empty hole. And me and LaToya. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're getting back to you. It's but like the 3D when, is Muppets in 3D. Oh, yeah. Why would you see that? When, when you're out of town, I mean, if there's a mall lay, you feel like, wow, this is a great place. All right, so you yeah. went and were you recognized? Did people... Uh, uh, some were, people, yeah. yeah. And Very just, few. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're not answering the question. Do they put other people in the rides with you, or do you sit in that teacup all by yourself? Uh, it was pretty sparse when I was there. Oh, so was it? Yeah. Okay. Did the children throw things at you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> And what about your film career? Is it non-existent at this point? I'm on that man staring at me. Why, yes. uh, why am I not seeing you in films anymore? He offered me candy. Why am I not seeing you in movies anymore? Is it uh, over for you? Well, you know the script just happened. <laughs> Are you being selective? Is that yeah, you is? know. I... You're going for quality work? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you, yesterday I had PBS on for some reason or other. You know, when I turned on my TV, it was Channel 13. Oh, Cyber Chase. And I heard Gilbert's voice coming out of the TV. So I turn around and look, and it's some kind of uh, mechanic. Mechanical bird. Yes. Right. Cyber chase every weekend because I know three year olds listen to this show. So you play a bird a lot I for some reason. It. People, people. They always see you as yes. a bird. Yeah, a lot of the, the casting agents. And the Aflac right. duck. Right. right. Which I saw something on uh, VH1 Best Commercials. <laughs> And I did a whole segment on Affleck. Didn't mention me once. Right. Yeah. People don't even like to bring your name. Yeah, out. exactly. <laughs> they can't enjoy it if they think about you. They figure people will move to another insurance company. Sometimes I expect you to come flying in here like a bird. <laughs> a parrot. Because he was the parrot in uh, Sinbad. Yes, Rusty. We're on the air. Gilbert Gottfried. Tomorrow hey, night Rusty. at Caroline's in Manhattan. Hey, Rusty. Hey, hey Rusty. Rusty. Hey, Artie. What? You bombed you during Stone Cold, man. It was embarrassing. What do you mean? It wasn't was funny, funny, man. It was annoying. He's doing that same hillbilly voice. Oh, he was funny. Was an Artie funny during Stone I Cold? I, I walked in late. Could you do it again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you? Do the Gilbert uh, rule, dude. Artie, do the part where Gilbert meets Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Shut up, you stupid little Jew. <laughs> Let me introduce to my friend, Full Nelson. <laughs> You're kidding. That's this funny. Guy, you know what? I've run, into these, I've run into these wrestling fans before. They get real upset if you mess with a wrestler. They really get annoyed at you. All right. Well, what can I tell you? Yeah, go ahead, um, Adam. Howard, what's up? Hey. Hey, what, what's this uh, Gina Gershon last night with Ted Demi's ashes? You kind of played it down, but she's a nutcase. <sighs> well, uh, you know, look, she came in. With her friend's ashes, Ted Demi, the director, and asked me if I wanted to be part of a movie she was making where you can talk to Ted Demi's ashes. <laughs> you know the guy died? He had a heart attack playing basketball. He was on blow. No. Uh, no, but no. Well, no. I don't know that, did he? I, I, I thought he died on a basketball. He court. had a heart attack playing basketball. Yeah. I'll tell you the truth, sir. I don't know, but all I know is I said to, I said to Gina, look, you're a beautiful woman. There isn't much I wouldn't yeah. do for you. But uh, I'm not going to be in some movie where I... What am I going to say to Ted Demi's ashes? I'm going to look like a retard. Yeah, she's hot as hell, but you can't be talking to ashes in a no, movie. No, and I, and I declined but, doing it. I said Ar I have Ar nothing to say to his ashes. Artie went over to the house and started doing a hillbilly voice. <laughs> 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 he said, hey, you, uh, how you ashes doing? <laughs> Artie, do Stone Cold talking to Ted Demi's ashes. <laughs> Come here, you little Jew ashes. <laughs> I didn't do... Uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> You're in... Um, Mickey Philharmonic ne uh, next year, right? Mickey Philharmonic. Oh, that's <laughs> filler magic. I don't know what that is. I got to know something. Gilbert's involved. So she's right. doing a movie. Everyone talks to the ashes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't get over this. I movie. said, who's going to go see that? And uh, I mean, I don't care. I, I mean. Hey, Ted might have been a good friend. Or I don't even know the guy. What would I say to the ashes? Gilbert's and, in it. The ashes yeah. are going to talk to a parrot. Yes. And who's going to go see this move? No. I mean, you got to be kidding me. And does he ever answer? It's horrifying. I don't think so. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, I mean, it was a very awkward moment. <laughs> Maybe, and she puts him in a blender at the end. I don't know. Right? Didn't you think it was weird? Oh, yeah. I couldn't believe she actually had his ashes. It's actually kind of a funny idea, but... As a movie, I don't think anybody would watch it. it I mean, if, if you didn't take it seriously at all, it would be a good movie. Well, trust me, I wouldn't have taken it seriously. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but I mean, she takes it seriously. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what's if funny she, about it. If she was doing it as a sick joke, it would be a really good movie. Why don't you write a movie? You're so, you, you, you think you're so funny. Why don't you write a movie? Why don't you get together with Gina Gershon? <laughs> oh, that's and right. That movie. Seriously, why don't you ever write a movie? Sit down and, and write one of these screenplays. I'm about the only person who hasn't written a movie. Yeah, I mean, what are you doing? Yeah. And I how else Disneyland. do you think you're going to get into a movie? Yeah, yeah no one's going to put you in one. <laughs> Maybe if you write one, they'll put you in it. I'm, I'm auditioning for the Ted Demi Ashes. Right. <laughs> um, hey, Ashes! <laughs> How about a movie about a guy who goes to Disneyland and goes yeah. alone? Yes. And he's really cheap. And he won't he won't pay for any of the rides. He gets him a teacup. Yes. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Frank. Okay, Frank. Frank. Uh, Howard. Yes. Uh, hey, uh, good morning. Good morning. This local station out here is uh, giving you a bad rap out here, bro. What local station? I'm out here in San Diego, the Dave Shelley and Chainsaw. And, uh, oh, saying, the guys, the, you mean the Howard Stern clones? Exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, that doesn't surprise me. I have, in a lot of the markets we're in, there's the exact Howard Stern show on in the morning. And, and their job is to speak badly about it. And their job is to basically badmouth me, even though they owe their entire careers, their whole style to me. But it doesn't make a difference. What am I going to do? Well, okay. Come I don't know here. Chainsaw and Shelley, but I'm sure that I'm sure they sound identical to this show. Yeah, they're a bunch of clowns. Yeah. Come out here and uh, blow them out of the ratings. All right, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Fred, we need to hear more of Fred. Yes, couldn't agree more. Thank you. Yes. We say that all the time. Uh, I just find that a lot of these shows sit and make fun of me. I never heard of them. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking yeah. about wall. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is why it was so popular in school. Yeah. yeah. Did you get beaten up a lot? Oh, all the time. Yeah. yeah. Well, me too. Did you have one person who particularly picked on you, or you like get? Would you get sick on the way to school, and you know because you were worried about that encounter yeah. with that one oh, person? I, I hated school. Hey, Gilbert, yeah. it's Steve Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your lunch money. Oh, it's that wrestling kid. Yeah. Juan, go ahead. You're on the air. Oh, well, you're the man. Thank you. Uh, Quick question for Godfrey there. I wanted to see what his whole take was on the whole uh, John Ritter death since he worked with him. Were you very affected by John Ritter's death? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to audition for uh, Eight Simple, Eight Simple Rules. Rules. You would like to replace yeah. him? I figure there's a job open there. Are you I affected mean, were you by... affected at all? Well, yeah. well, it definitely means there won't be another problem child. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> sequel. That was the first thing I thought of. You worked with him in the movie Problem Child? Yeah, and Problem Child too. Was he the genius they claimed he was? <laughs> Did you see any signs of genius? Tell us what it was like to work with him. <laughs> he worked with Austin Wells during the end, and few people remember. <laughs> I mean, are you shocked that he has now become a genius? Yeah. <laughs> that there's hope see, for everyone else. See, I should die right now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think they'd honor you as a genius? I think you'd be pretty forgotten, right? Yeah, I think now, immediately. You, you actually did scenes with him? Oh, yeah. And did he crack you up? How did you get... <laughs> Gilbert learned everything nice. from him. Was it difficult to be around him and not laugh? <laughs> Show me how to fall off a hammock. Oh, yeah. So you saw, you, you you were not moved. Did you go to the funeral? Did you contact the I, widow? I wasn't even invited to the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Although I heard um, yes. inside uh, John Ritter's funeral dirt uh, that they, they never sent an invitation to Suzanne Summers. Good. And? Yeah, because well, she was like calling every single show to cry. Oh, absolutely. She I'm figured sorry. this is her chance to get back on TV. Yeah, I mean, she literally picked up the phone and called Midday Live and said... Uh, I called you because you're like family. I love that line. Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she she called before they announced it. You know what I mean? <laughs> she called while he was just nauseous. Yes. Right. <laughs> she called while he was saying, I feel a little tired. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing she said was that they were work looking for a project yes, to do together. Yes, because how can he deny it now? <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Yeah. I mean, do you... Uh, I mean, do you ever get affected? Do you ever think about someone that you worked with once they die, or do you just go on with your day? I usually go on with my day. Right. Okay. Did you say you were friendly <laughs> with the, John Ritter? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. When I was working with, and it was, it's, it's funny. It's like most people, when you hear about them dying, it's just like a good story right. to tell everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Were you upset when you saw uh, Suzanne Summers calling? Every did you want to call into some shows? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, why didn't you call? I figured I might as well cash in on it. Right. I'm surprised you didn't call. Yeah, but I, I love that she said, yes, we were planning on working together, because then you could call the producers and say, so I'm sure John told you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was no project for him, yes. for her and John Ritter. What project would that be? Yeah, I want proof. <laughs> All right, Dan, you're on the air. Yeah, I have my son on the phone. He wants to speak to the parent from Aladdin. All right, you have your, your how old is your son? He's, David, go ahead. I'm nine. All right. Well, become the parrot, please, from Aladdin. And, he wants to talk to entertain this child. Yeah. Well, do you want to talk to Artie? Hey there, son! <laughs> oh, son. my God! I'm 17! It's the parrot. Sonny. Oh, my God! That's the parrot! Yeah, you're nine years old. <laughs> oh, my God! Hey, son! I'm going to get you in a headlock! Hey! <laughs> oh, Gilbert, I mean, the parrot wants to know what you look like. I'm, I'm big and muscular, what? and I'm wearing trims. <laughs> how, uh, how old are you again? Nine. And what do you look like? <laughs> you suck, Gilbert. God, please. All right. We're going to take a break. Robin, what's the lead story in the news? You suck. Oh, my goodness. What's the lead story? <laughs> Come here. You in go- China, they still eat animals. The, the uh the the nine year old wanted to go to Disneyland with you. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at a marketplace where they have uh, We eat animals too. Cages of cats. Oh, that kind of We're animal. talking about pets. Oh. <laughs> cats, dogs, rodents. <laughs> they eat just about everything. Wow. So uh we'll be talking about that. They got a lot of people over in China, they don't know how to feed them. You know, I mean the wild animal market stocks pigeons, dogs, cats, snakes. We eat rabbits and deer. Well, you do. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm saying our country does. But uh, it's so... I mean, look at that. Those are cats. Those are house cats. We eat dolphins. In cages. We don't try to eat dolphins. They sometimes get caught in our tuna net. Yeah. We, we eat savage seahorses. <laughs> <laughs> and we eat dolphins. And what does he yell when you stick a fork into him, Marty? <laughs> I'm done. Okay. <laughs> we don't eat rodents. Do. Gilbert does. <laughs> They're free. Yeah. There's plenty of them here I in New York. So many in my apartment. And yeah. like, I eat rodents. I make see, an omelet out of them. See, we we keep fooling around, but they think that's where the SARS virus may have started. I believe it. From the eating of these animals, and then it spread. All over the world. Gilbert eats cockroaches. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ghetto. Yeah, yo, get, let me tell you something, Howard. Excuse me, are you A long time mad? I've been listening to you, and what? all you do is degrade black people. You never get the black side, you know what I'm saying? You never put people on a positive pedestal. All you, every <laughs> time you think, whether it's Kobe, now you have that stupid cornbread eating Mickey Rivers. It's a white guy. I think well, I, I, ain't no, I ain't no white guy. I'll go right up there right now. You're and white. put you in your big nose. What you know about blackness, baby? When you going to have a couple black men up in there? Where would we find him? Is it you, sir? I didn't even have to talk to you. You and your fake dreads. You look like Predator. <laughs> oh, get out of here. That sounds like Steve Austin. <laughs> Could we have you on the show? All right, we got to take a break. I'm we'll black. Be, we'll be back with uh, Gilbert Gottfried tomorrow night at Caroline's in Manhattan for tickets. Call 212-757-4100. Um, I think that was Colin Powell, actually. Oh, yes. <laughs> he calls this show a lot. We're going to take a break, and we'll come back and do the news. Show right? I'm I'm the show. See Gilbert Gottfried tomorrow night at Caroline's in Manhattan for tickets. Call 212-757-4100. Do you collect memorabilia from your movies and things in case it would be I, worth something one day? I heard somebody was did have a pic- an autograph picture of me that no one was bidding on. On eBay? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Is it embarrassing for you to go on the eBay and see that your picture is worthless? <laughs> Certainly someone would pay something for you. Yeah. Life. Obviously not. No. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm sorry for you. Yeah, that's Mark. okay. Spent a career in show business and nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I die, Suzanne Summers will call up. <laughs> I, I doubt it. When Gilbert thought he was dying yeah. and they had him taken by ambulance because it was a burst appendix. He, uh, he got upset because he called me and goes, uh, I didn't want to call an ambulance. I was afraid it would end up on the front page of the post. 
I said, Gilbert, <laughs> it's not even mentioned in the post. It wasn't even in the penny saver. It wasn't even any paper that you, you went to the hospital. <laughs> He's afraid. <laughs> he was afraid. Didn't he finally call and say, start mentioning me? Yeah. <laughs> Because nobody has seemed to care. He that said, I'm "Could not you around? mention my name?" <laughs> <laughs> it's very sad. While, while I was being wheeled into surgery, I, yeah. said, I, I got said, sucked into it. Me? If your ambulance happened to drive by Ben Affleck, yeah. oh, yeah. he would have been on the cover of the book. Gilbert was in the hospital for like 18 days at this point, and I get a call, and he goes, "Do you mind mentioning me?" <laughs> <laughs> I've heard from no one. The guy was afraid to be on the front page of the Post. <laughs> they, I did wind up in the Post eventually with the Saturday Night Live curse. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least you got that. Yeah. You have to admit, I mean, you must have been crushed when no one wrote up yes. the fact that you were almost dead. <laughs> I mean, you laugh about it now, but I remember how hurt you were. Remember he had an epiphany he was getting out of show business? Well, he saw it. Nobody cares about his career. <laughs> He's doing this for nothing. I was going to work with Mother Teresa. <laughs> Teresa. But, yeah, but yeah. she... she is, what was your plan to get out of... She didn't want to work with me. No. <laughs> Imagine you left show business. What would you be doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, Gilbert told me he has an exciting uh, week coming up. He's uh, flying to California to do Hollywood Squares, and then he's going to appear on the TV show Becker. Wow. Because <laughs> murder she wrote's off the air. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> How did you get tapped for this exciting role in Becker? <laughs> John Ritter died. Yeah. yeah. So sorry. Yes. So, uh, Caroline's the same actor, or maybe you thought of something new? Uh, maybe I'll think of a new joke right. before right. tomorrow, but I can't promise anything. By the way, I'm Becker. Gilbert plays an ostrich. <laughs> I'm branching out. What is your role on Becker? Have you seen the script? You know I haven't even seen the script yet. You agree to do it, but yeah, you yeah. don't care about what they have you do or how they make you appear? It doesn't matter. It could be hardcore porn. I right. Think. You don't care. I don't care. You Becker. don't even know how many pages of dialogue no. or anything. Becker they, bangs an ostrich. Yeah. <laughs> what if it's Becker me. puts a pine cone in your ass? You don't care? <laughs> Well, that would be a, a very special... A special Becker. Yes. All right, let's go to Robin, who's anxiously waiting to get the news on the air. Thank you. Uh, very, very good. Serious. Uh, this is a special request news story. Artie wanted me to say... Hey, I'm Steve Austin. How you doing? <laughs> that Norm MacDonald is getting very good reviews in the papers today for his new series that debuts tonight. Well, I pointed that out to Artie. No, but I also it's noticed... Called Hooper. Uh, he got another one in another paper. The Daily News gave him three and a half out of four stars. Yes. So They're saying that? that this is like one of the best sitcoms you've ever seen. They say, A Minute with Stan Hooper is a new Fox sitcom that is beautifully crafted and unexpectedly genial piece of comedy. Yeah, Obviously, they've never asked me to be on that. <laughs> well, poor Artie was on Norm's last horribly reviewed sitcom. <laughs> Oh, I did an appearance on that, too. Yeah, you did that. The Gilbert was on the show. Does it make you yeah. mad in a sense that why couldn't Norm do a brilliant sitcom when you were on his sitcom? Let me tell you something. Not to sound too sentimental. I wouldn't trade two years on the show to be on any sitcom. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> That's the truth. Unless they call. But, uh, you know, but yeah, I would be worth $20 million. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole life would be different. I wouldn't be doing the Pittsburgh funny bone. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, uh, yeah, look, you know, I'm happy for Norm. Yeah. I'm happy for I Norm. am, too. He's a good guy. <laughs> I get all the happy. All of us are going to throw a party for I'm him. Warm. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's I've a great guy. I've got a glow in my heart. <laughs> I Hello, love when anyway. someone else is doing that. <laughs> congratulations, Norm. Right, Norm. Hey, Norm, congratulations. Hey, I'm Steve Olsen. Yeah. Hey, what happened to the old news uh, theme song? Which one? Oh, yeah. Fred not putting With it the on high pitch voice. Yeah, you. You know oh, that was. You know me. Do you I really like voice. my views. And I get a big boner you whenever you do. I love that one. You know what's what's great about that? That was a song written for Ringo Starr. You know, I even he saw was it. Supposed to be on that day. I even saw you did Crank Anchors. Oh yes. And that went horribly wrong. You couldn't you couldn't make a phony phone call. Is that right? It went nowhere. They tore up the puppet. Yes. <laughs> There's no longer a Gilbert puppet. No, there's no more Gilbert puppet. Oh, what else is in the news, Robin? Uh, we talked about this earlier. I thought Gilbert would like to know. A mom wants a teacher 
who made a racist remark to her child and is still teaching her to be fired. A white Queens teacher has come under fire for allegedly asking a black fourth grader whether a picture of a gorilla on her folder was of her family. <laughs> hey, is that your family? <laughs> So, um, but then she apologized and said, here, have a banana. <laughs> so it's well, okay. <laughs> actually, she apologized and said, don't tell anybody I yeah. said that yeah. to you. <laughs> but the kid was depressed for several days, so the mother finally got to the bottom of why the kid was walking around depressed. She told the story of the teacher saying that, you know, the gorilla picture on her folder was a picture of her family. If you don't tell anyone, I'll give you a tire to play with. <laughs> and the teacher has been reprimanded, but has been left in the classroom. <laughs> So uh, the wow. mom is saying, you know, my daughter really shouldn't have to go and face that teacher every day. Can you imagine a teacher says your family is basically looks like apes? <laughs> and then they say, okay, the teacher can stay and teach the kid. That's insane. <laughs> hey, who's that, your Uncle McGillow? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, doesn't make Do you get a lot of exercise climbing the Empire State Building? <laughs> doesn't make much sense. Uh, these things do go on. What did you think of the story of the kid? Who... Can I walk you home to your cage? <laughs> Wait, you got an A, Mighty Joe. You would have been a good teacher, Gilbert. You know, Gilbert would never have stopped. He'd have gone on and on and on and on. He's very sensitive to children. You'll never have children of your own, will you? I apologize to your nigger parents. Oh, 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 oh. I feel terrible about what I said. You would, if you were a teacher, you would say that? Yes. <laughs> let me let me clean that up. Tell your spook parents, I feel terrible about the monkey remark. <laughs> now, here's a bag of peanuts. <laughs> well, let me tell you, that, that, that teacher... I what Artie does with his friends. He finds that funny. Oh, I'm having, I'm having I'm, a, a horrible... Yes. <laughs> How horrible Gilbert is. Yeah, I mean, the teacher, the teacher, the teacher should be fired. Go ahead, Robin. Yes. What about the kid who was thrown out of school, or suspended at least, because his father's in the military? That's right. And he drew a stick figure picture of a marine shooting a member of the Taliban. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Well, he was suspended. There's nothing. What is wrong with a marine shooting a member of the Taliban? The uh, school thought it was offensive and inappropriate. Oh, can you believe this? And they this? say they're taking it very seriously. What school is this? I think this was in. Uh, where is it? What kind of New school? Jersey, well, yeah. I, I in New Jersey, this you mean to tell me the kid's father's a marine and he's drawing a picture of his father killing someone in the Taliban? What? Well, he didn't even say it was his father. I think this is offensive to the Taliban. <laughs> Yeah. No, seriously, what, what are we, a, a nation of traitors? That's good. During World War II, if you drew a picture of, of, of a soldier killing a Nazi, they would have they praised you. Right. I tell them, you can't even go to war anymore. Yeah, come uh, on. The teacher just called in and said, this is like shooting a spook. <laughs> oh, you stop stop that. Really well, what's the matter? You're yes. really a racist. Hey, what's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> Chauncey <laughs> Hayden, you're on the air. Hey, how's it going? All right. This, this is kind of funny. When Gilbert just got out of the hospital... He had, who was repping him back then called my office and said, look, Gilbert just got out of the hospital. Can you call him up and can you put him on the cover and ask him just about what it was like being sick and how he feels now? So we went ahead, you know, we put him on the cover, we asked him about it, and all he did was complain about how you never went to visit him and how horrible you are. Who, oh, me? Wait a minute. Yeah. I went to visit Gilbert a whole bunch of times in the hospital. He was never he was on the cover of anything, too. He was upset. He was yeah. really upset. Well, Wait a minute. You were getting Gilbert pajamas? I, 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 listen. No one in show business wanted to go see yeah. Gilbert. I, 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 to, to, Every visitor and, that went to see what, Gilbert what, is you're responsible for. And what magazine was I on the cover of? In <laughs> fact, the way I got people to go visit Gilbert, I had to beg people to go visit. <laughs> you had to call in favors. Whenever a guy would come on the show, I'd say, listen, would you mind going to visit Gilbert in the hospital? I know, I'm sure. I'm savage people. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I feel embarrassed telling Gilbert this now, but Posey went there. Posey went there and read the newspaper. And so uh, I had to go back. that he got the, 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 the magicians, um, Penn and Teller. I even got those two up. magicians to entertain him. No, he was upset. I had to go back and read what he said, because he was, he was so angry at you. Wow. And what Gilbert. about the, remember he was having you run around looking for a thermometer? Well, finally I yeah, put my foot my down. Ass. Yeah, <laughs> I finally put my foot down. You had me get him pajamas. pajamas. I finally said, 
No, but there's a drugstore from where you live. Just call, call them up and they'll deliver. Oh, no, no. I, I, don't I can't do make that call. Oh, you're a mess. <laughs> so he couldn't have bad-mouthed you. I tell you what. I booked, I, all, I, booked, I booked all his hospital appearances. Yes. <laughs> I did. Stop it. You know what it was like begging his mother to go visit him? <laughs> Robin, what else is in the news? J-Lo was in town yesterday and got to meet the mayor. She's been named to some commission to uh, deal with Hispanics and, you know, media and communication and entertainment here in the city. So really? she's going to sit on that commission. So she met with the mayor yesterday. They had a little press conference. She gave him a kiss. Wow. He blushed. And Ben Affleck was in the background. Just standing there. He, was, he said, man, this is really hot watching my girlfriend make out with another guy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the two of them are around, and they do say she's still wearing a great big engagement ring. The tabloids are now saying they are going to elope. Right. So uh, bless them, and good luck. Uh, a spectacular solar blast is headed for the Earth. The third largest recorded, according to uh, astronomers. <laughs> it's expected at about noon Eastern time today. <laughs> it poses no direct threat to people. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but <laughs> it could wreak havoc <laughs> with communications. Yes, I've heard that it might interrupt our cell phone service. <laughs> That's right. As Do you have a cell phone? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you don't have a cell phone? Yeah, but with all these explosions going on, they taught to get reception and <laughs> solar bliss. <laughs> As a precaution, NASA instructed space station astronauts to periodically seek shelter from the storm's effect in the station's Russian module. And yes, as you said, our cell phones might be affected. Cagers, cell phones, your Blackberry <laughs> might all be affected. <laughs> you guys are so tired. Yeah, Mike, go ahead. You're on the air. Oh, I just heard that on CNN, man. They said it's going to be a blast from how it starts at. Yes. Listen, can we get Gilbert to do a little bit of the count? You know, the Pope? What's up with that? Come on. Well, you know, uh, it's funny. I, I was going to bring this up to Gilbert. They're, they're saying that the Pope is close to death. Yeah. And that... <laughs> they're paying close attention to his fart. <laughs> no, actually, he's close to death. And that they're saying... He's appointed so many black cardinals <laughs> that the next pope is probably going to be black. He's only hope. I want a nigger to take over oh, my job. Oh, no, stop Why it. Why do you have to bother? Why do you have to Why say that? You, to <laughs> you know I he's want gotten him into that mode. to have a bone in his nose. <laughs> <laughs> and he could dance around a pot of boiling water. <laughs> That he cooks up white missionaries in going ooga booga. <laughs> I want the next pope. Ooga booga. Bring me the darkest boy to be the pope. Yum yum, eat him up. Uh, <laughs> oh, now, well, thank you. I was doing Are you happy now? Now you have it. Right, just keep it coming. I love it. Give me a picture of a gorilla <laughs> and I will make him the pope. <laughs> Are you now the racist pope? Uh, all right. He uh, brought his family with him. <laughs> could could we drop Gilbert into the wildfires in California? Can we hear another solar blast? <laughs> please, children, would you please be quiet when I accept the new pope? <laughs> Uh, B2 Howard is a veteran Los Angeles TV reporter. Oh, look, Savage Steve Austin just came out. Oh, stop it. Hey, hey, do the pope. B2 is a TV reporter in Los Angeles who has just been rescued by a firefighter. Okay. From the flames that engulfed his news van as he was covering the California wildfires. And uh, he actually burst into tears while he was doing his report. Me too. Your gear is what you take care of, and it is what we rely on to be able to get these yeah, live know, it, It's not the gear. The gear is nothing. The truck is nothing. It's, it's, I have such empathy for what these people have lost in, the, in their homes and their possessions. 
you know, what we did was was um, was a part of work, and it was probably really stupid. And uh, we were watching this person's house, and they had tried their best to, to save it. And uh, I feel so badly for for the people who lost their possessions. You know, the truck cares. Stupid truck with a bunch of equipment in it. But I, I got to thank the firefighter who uh, I was inside the truck. I trying to get it start. And uh, well, I jumped out of the driver's seat. And all there was was flames. I saw the, uh, uh, he was outside. I saw Gilbert Gottfried saying, she hasn't changed the he, joke he, at all. He, 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 he saw his I, I heard this voice. He just said, hey, Chuck, Chuck, and he's calling at me. It was a fireman. And I just ran in his direction. He grabbed me. And he literally threw us in the back of his truck. Yeah. And I say, tell me the truck. I don't even know. How do you know there was a truck? That was a lot of all right, there it is. Wow. Uh, Gilbert, now you never show emotion, do you? <laughs> <laughs> he was there. He was laughing hysterically. <laughs> yes, Lorraine, you're on the air. It's Marie, but Lorraine is okay. I just told him I'm 36 years old and I just peed in my pants in the car. <laughs> 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 what, made you, what made you pee your pants in the car? Well, Gilbert number one started it off, and the fact that Artie sounds like he's peeing his pants in the background. I am. Oh, well, ma'am, uh, I don't want to say anything, but uh, I just defecated in my pants. <laughs> now, what caused you to do that? And he didn't even think it was funny. He just, <laughs> I just do that. There was nothing particularly funny going on. Well, thank uh, you. Uh, thank you. Glad right. we could do that for you. I just happen to love Gilbert's racist Pope character. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll be opening with. Uh oh. oh dear. All right, go ahead. Uh, I accept the new nigger <clears throat> to the Vatican. <laughs> just Gilbert. make sure he doesn't steal anything <laughs> from here. My watch is missing. Your point is, I imagine, that you are not a racist, that you are, the Pope you are commenting on the character. the character. I can't help it, the Pope is a racist. <laughs> All right. All so right. much for the easy laughs. Gilbert, I thought you were Those a professional. Those colored people get back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> to drink not. the blood of the living. <laughs> to put them in big pots of boiling water. <laughs> and eat them like cannibals. <laughs> Bring me a colored cardinal. <laughs> Bring me savage divots. <laughs> It's Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> no, it's oh, a black Steve I've Austin. I've angered oh. his family. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's make on for it. <laughs> this is how you they celebrate bring before black people they up eat to, you. Uh, Gilbert, yeah, please no, don't. Please don't. Word again and again. I Are you the only man. white comic that says the N word? <laughs> Only here. No red oh, buttons. Right. Why don't you ever say that on Hollywood Square? Under the cloak of uh, our protection. Yeah. No, Gilbert will be saying it on Becker. <laughs> right, I'm sure. Some of those bird characters of his. <laughs> Affleck. Is... Hey, do you have that insurance? What? Nigger. Nigger. <laughs> That's what's going to be happening. Can you balance it out by insulting some other group? <laughs> no. Can you say, no. Can you say giddy a few times? <laughs> Your point is that you are not a racist, right. but you're commenting. No, there's no point. Right here. Oh, yeah. there's, 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 there's any point. There's try, no point. Try to understand his humor. <laughs> there's no understanding it. All right. Uh, I think we've heard enough from you. <laughs> Bring those colors into the pot again. All right. Anyway, go ahead, Robin. Goodness. <laughs> it's racist Pope on the list. <laughs> Out of control. Uh, they found another box cutter on a plane. State and federal law enforcement officials are... Should Gilbert have it? He'll put it with his maple syrup. <laughs> well, that's how I open it. Yeah. <laughs> are investigating the discovery of a box cutter found on board a U.S. Airways commuter plane that arrived at Logan Airport in Boston. Uh... They don't know how it got there or why. They say no security was breached, but it was found, and then they did a thorough inspection of the plane. All right. So we are still finding uh, all kinds of weapons on our plane. Absolutely. Yes, uh, Frank. I mean, Kevin. Hi, 
remember what's happening, man. You got to hire Gilbert. You got to keep him on the air full time. <laughs> we might not even let him out of the studio. I'm oh, you it's all a... should be very proud of yourself. Chain his Jew ass right to the friggin' uh, floor. You <laughs> should be very proud don't, of don't, yourself. Don't, don't get bring anti race into it. <laughs> <laughs> keep him there, man. It's, it's the best thing. Well, yes. He yeah. really is Actually, Artie's the best thing that ever happened to the show. Hey, do you, have you ever heard Artie do his hillbilly action? <laughs> What are you talking about, you two bastard? There you go. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's finish Why the news. You talk that way. This guy loves the edgy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the edgy stuff, please. Courtney Love has been charged with uh, drug possession in Los Angeles. Yes. <laughs> she now faces uh, possession charges stemming from her arrest earlier this month after breaking windows at her boyfriend's house. She uh, allegedly was carrying prescription drugs for which she had no prescriptions. When so. asked the comment, she said, Hey, I didn't carry any drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Kobe Bryant and uh, Shaquille O'Neal are at it again. <laughs> Savage Courtney Love. <laughs> they are fighting amongst themselves. I guess Kobe is upset with Shaquille. Oh, boy, I hope that this doesn't cost the Lakers some wins this year. <laughs> I don't think they need him, quite frankly. Oh, God. He has been uh, fined for his remarks. So, uh, they will now... I, he is healing. He didn't play last night. It, because... is, is the Pope going to be fined for any of his remarks? <laughs> he really... No, he doesn't play for the Lakers. He's he obnoxious. Get away with He's it. a racist. Yeah. Oh, those blacks. When the moon is full, they turn into monkeys. <laughs> Jesus. Kobe gave an interview to ESPN by phone the other day while he was letting his knee heal and criticized uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Right. So uh, they are now uh, trying to stop the fighting among the two of them on the team. The team met for 20 minutes and had a big uh, team meeting. O'Neal has criticized Bryant in recent days for not being a team player, but had no comment after uh, Tuesday's game. So they are still at it. Two superstars fighting with each other. I think Becker just canceled <laughs> Oh, yes, this is the producer's <laughs> Becker. Uh, there's, uh... Oh, wait, Ted Danson's on the phone. <laughs> hey, Gilbert! Uh, hey! <laughs> after, you appear on the, after you appear on our show, do they ever... I've lost so many jobs. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> <laughs> and it never teaches you, does it? No. No, no you, you can't help it. From it. Uh, yeah, this is the producer of Becker. We heard Gilbert's racist <laughs> poke character. And, and we ourselves loved it. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. We get it. We know you. You're not a racist. Yeah. We know that you're trying to point you know, out. This is why you're always a bird. Yeah. <laughs> we'll hire you as a bird. All right, anything else, Robin? Go yeah, ahead. Yes, Scary Movie 3 is yes. the number one movie at the box office. Charlie Sheen is in it. And here he is on if he and his wife are trying to have a baby. You know, That's he's important. He's married to Denise Richards. All right, let's, let's get to some important news now. <laughs> yes, we were. But, uh, but when the reality hits you that, that you achieved that goal and uh, now the waiting begins, it's a, it's a, it's a whole... What's he talking about? What's she talking about, Willis? <laughs> Maybe she's already pregnant, I guess. I don't, I don't know. know. He's not saying anything. And uh, <laughs> are they, nothing. now that they are in, in anticipating, is he reading books like uh, What to Expect When You're Expecting, a tip? She is, yeah. She has that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm usually buried in the script at night, so I can't, I don't have a lot of time. I don't think there's really a book that can tell you what to do or what to expect. Um, he's buried in a script at night. Instead of instead yeah. of a book, he's reading the scary movie three script. <laughs> yeah. No time for both. I really have to get into character for that. <laughs> <laughs> How long before he nails another girl? Oh, I, I, I would imagine it's already happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Nick Nolte, of course, was uh, the dad in the Incredible Hulk movie, right, right. which is coming to DVD. It's actually in, on DVD now. You can pick it up in a store. So it gives me an opportunity to play a Nick Nolte cut. Here he gives a scientific explanation of what is happening to his character's son in the movie. B1. He does, in fact, inherit the entire genome, the human de genome, with his alteration in these genes. Is that Artie? But he also... <laughs> hey, at least the guy read the script. All right. 
Nazi. I'm usually buried in the cemetery. <laughs> and Nick Nolte sounds horrible, right? Wow. Oh, dear, I love him. Clint Eastwood has a movie out right now. It's called Mystic River. He is the director. And, uh... Here's why the material was a great piece for the actors, A3. It's not about special effects. There's no visual effects. Everything is real, uh, photographed real. Did anybody get bit by a spider in that movie? <laughs> no, if they no, don't, I'm not going. I love those kind of movies when people get bitten by spiders. They get superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? The Andy Griffith Show is going to be honored in North Carolina. They are actually uh, unveiling a statue... It'll be placed in uh, a park in really? Raleigh, North Carolina, and unveiled during a special ceremony. Wow. Andy Griffith is scheduled to be there. Wow. Arnie does a great Andy Griffith. <laughs> <laughs> and here's... Everybody? <laughs> Artie. <laughs> no, here's Andy to describe the statue. A4. And Ronnie walking down with fishing poles. Toward the old fishing, the, 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 it's it's the original, the first scene that we, that we ever shot in the show. Wow! So there you go. They're honoring the Andy Griffith Show. If there's a free buffet, Gilbert will go. <laughs> <laughs> and here, Andy says he only has uh, one regret about the show. A five. The one thing I regret about the old Griffith Show is that I was a few scenes I was seen smoking on screen. If I had it to do over again, I would never have done that. So there. He would not smoke on on camera today. I thought he'd, he was upset that he didn't shoot Aunt B in one of those scenes. <laughs> I never banged Aunt B. All right, Robin. That's what they're thank doing. you. I want to thank Gilbert Gottfried for coming in. And really? So offensive. Very offensive. Oh, be quiet. So offensive. <laughs> And see Gilbert tomorrow night at Caroline's in Manhattan for tickets called 212-757-4100. I wouldn't even do the P. Diddy story for fear of what... <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert might end up with a foot in his head. <laughs> well, Gilbert, uh, once again, you've pointed out that there is racism in this country. Yes. And, that there's... <laughs> and it's nothing to be left at. <laughs> that there's nothing funny about No, that you are the leader of it. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, Gilbert, uh, good luck with your gigs and your exciting life out in California okay. with Becker and Hollywood good Squares. Good luck being the first Jewish <laughs> Grand Dragon of the clan. Right. I want to thank him else for stopping by. Stone Cold Steve Austin will be at Platinum Hollywood. Oh, there he is now. Yeah, I'll be there. Matt Bon Jovi, thank you. John Bon Jovi's brother. Yeah. What does he sound like? And uh, former New York Yankee Mickey Rivers. Hey. We'll see you tomorrow.